Hello, hi, namaskar. Welcome to Healthy Family Cuisine and Lifestyle. Today, uh, we are gonna make an excellent recipe, which is a combination of prebiotic and probiotic. It's excellent for your gut. It's excellent for those suffering with uh, repeated urinary tract infection, and it's excellent for those suffering with high blood pressure. Excellent for those with uh, the problems like piles, fissure, fistula, IBS, colitis. Let's proceed towards making the recipe without wasting much time. Please watch the recipe till the end and do let me know how you like my recipes in the comment section. Before proceeding towards the recipe, I would request all of you to please subscribe to the channel so that I can bring you more video and it brings me more encouragement and confidence. I request all of you to watch any recipe till the end uh, so that you do not miss any vital information which is talked about in between the video. Let's proceed uh, towards making this perfect combo of probiotic and prebiotic. Curd, as you all know, is considered very auspicious. This is Rijita Dweker's recipe. She is a renowned nutritionist and uh, she says set the curd with raisins to reset the gut bacteria. Hemorrhoids is a very painful condition where veins in the rectum and anus get swollen and cause discomfort and sometimes bleeding also. It's caused by constipation, less water intake, straining during bowel movements and also due to deficiency of many vitamins and minerals. Curd is rich in a vitamin B to vitamin B12. It's a good source of calcium and protein. Whereas raisins are a good source of soluble fiber, the combination of both curd and raisins will work wonders. It will reduce the inflammation in the gut. It will also help in uh, curing bloating and acidity. This combination helps in treating urinary tract infections also. The method of setting this curd is very simple. We just require lukewarm milk. It should be warm enough uh, so as you can uh, tolerate dipping your finger in it. Uh, see the reasons uh, they are loaded with so many minerals and antioxidants. They prevent anemia. They support vision. Uh, you can use any variety of reasons. I prefer munakka because, because it's very high in soluble fiber. You can also add anjeer. You simply need to add the raisins into the warm milk and stir it continuously. Uh, milk should neither be too hot nor too cold. Add the starter, uh, most importantly the watery part and stir it well so that uh, this gets mixed well into the curd, into the milk. Stir it well. Uh, you can see it in another video, the thick part is the curd and this water which it has left behind is called the whey. Uh, that is equally very beneficial. Curd being rich in uh, calcium and proteins is good for your bones. Now cover this with the lid and you can also wrap this kitchen towel and let it uh, get set. Do not disturb it before 8 hours. I prefer putting it into my oven. Make sure that your oven is clean, your microwave is clean. Do watch my plain curd setting recipe also. I will give the link in the description box. Now after 8 hours, let's check. If you have not watched my video, please do check and watch it. This can be had in winters too. And the best time to have this is after your uh, breakfast or post lunch. Or, uh, But do not take any uh, curd after sunset. Do not take it. Now uh, when you see the curd has a set, do put it in your refrigerator so that it gets set completely for that thick and creamy texture. Uh, now you can see how you, the curd has uh, set properly. If you are suffering with hemorrhoids, make a regular habit of setting your curd with raisins, especially with munakka and anjeer and enjoy your life hassle free and comfortably. And if we talk about its uh, taste, so it's somewhat sweet in taste because raisins have already imparted a, a slight sweet taste in this uh, the heat. Most of you may not like the sweetness, but when you think that it's not for your tongue, it's for your gut, it's for your intestines, it's for your good skin, it's for your good hair and uh, it's for those uh, wrinkle free skin so you'll definitely set your curd with the raisins one uh, request i'm having if you really like my recipes uh, if you really like the recipes i bring to you please do consider subscribing the channel 
and uh, please do share the videos with your family and friends whom you care about. This will increase their hemoglobin levels too. This will relieve them of this chronic condition, hemorrhoids. One more request is please do not add salt to your curds because it destroys all the good bacteria in the curd and uh, leaves it almost useless. Eat healthy and think healthy. Take care of yourselves.